This is the all-new 2014 Toyota Highlander. Now, Toyota helped pioneer this mid-size SUV crossover market back in 2001 with the very first Highlander. This is generation number three. Now, what the Toyota buyers have been telling them is that they want a car that looks capable and rugged, but has the on-road dynamics more like a car. So this vehicle is longer, it's wider, and it's lower, and definitely the best-looking Highlander to date. So we're here in California, Carmel by the Sea, to check out the all-new 2014. Well, I think the really important thing is that as we start to look at uh, how the marketplace is, de is developing, there's a real opportunity, we think, with the front-wheel drive model in particular. And there's a, a real value story with that this time around. So not only have we moved from a four-cylinder engine to a six-cylinder, increased the size, um, improved the overall uh, style and feel of the vehicle, but we've brought it in at exactly the same price as the old four-cylinder front-wheel drive model. So we think this really opens up a section of the marketplace that uh, Highlander didn't speak to before. And then feature by feature, price level by price level up the, up the chain, we're delivering either a lower starting MSRP or a vehicle with a whole lot more features without increasing prices. So it's a, it's a good value proposition all the way around. Now, when you get in the front seat of the Highlander, you notice right away, this is an all new vehicle. The previous model was functional, but it kind of felt cheap with some hard plastic. They've updated a lot of the materials. There's still some hard plastic around, but for the most part, it looks and feels much better. The first thing you notice other than the new design is this tray that sits underneath the heat and the radio. And that's a place where you can place more than likely your smartphone, your cell phone. There's even a hole where you can drop the cable down from your smartphone and then plug it in underneath. That's clever. Uh, whether you like the design or not, that's really individual taste. Above that, you'll notice a screen. Every Highlander now comes with a backup camera. The standard screen is 6.1 inches. When you go to the middle and upper trim, the XLE and above, you get this 8-inch screen, which definitely is a big improvement. Steering wheel's all new. Used to have a four-spoke design. It's now a three-spoke design. The center console, massive cup holders for your super big gulp. No problem there. And the console here where you have storage is much deeper. And the main reason for that is uh, you might remember the previous Highlander had a hidden seat that went underneath that center console and it went between the two captain's chairs in the second row. They've deleted that. The Toyota people tell us it maybe wasn't the most comfortable seat, so they've gone to the second row, has a bench seat, on this trim level we have here, it has the captain's chairs, a top limited version. But the biggest change for seating is in the third row. Now you can get three people back there. So this Highlander is not only a seven passenger, it's also an eight passenger vehicle. So somebody that's shopping for a minivan can now shop for a Highlander. It's got the more rugged, sexy looking exterior compared to a minivan, but has a lot of the same functionality. We made it bigger, frankly, because, again, when we started looking at, um, at a younger customer base, these were young families, typically had a couple of kids, maybe a family pet, very active lifestyle, so they needed all of the space and convenience features that come with, uh, come with this vehicle. Now, Toyota has left the starting price the same, but added more standard equipment. We mentioned the backup camera. It starts at $31,680, but there's a little bit of a trick here. In order to get a lot of the features that Canadians want, you have to order the convenience package, and the price goes from just over $31,000 to $34,480. And that might be worth the stretch to make because one of the best features on any midsize SUV is a power liftgate. That gets you the power liftgate included in that package. So you can go from a front-wheel drive to an all-wheel drive. Prices start at $31,680 and go all the way up to $45,100 for the full load limited model that we have here. Now the biggest change with this new Highlander is the fact that they got rid of the four-cylinder engine. So it's available now with a front-wheel drive V6 as the base. 270 horsepower from a 3.5 liter V6. That's carried over with no changes. The change to the drive system is actually the automatic. They've upgraded the six-speed automatic to work now with the all-wheel drive system that uses front-wheel drive as often as possible and can shift up to 50% of the torque to the rear wheels when extra traction is needed. Also, when cornering, 10% of the torque is sent to the rear wheels to help you steer through the corners. So what this does is enable the Highlander to achieve better 
better fuel efficiency even though it is bigger than the outgoing model. They also modified the rear suspension to make it a little bit more dynamic to drive. Now this is not a canyon carving vehicle, this is a family vehicle that has very light power steering, comfortable ride, but you know what? It's all coming together to produce a pretty good package. A family that's looking to move a lot of people around, they want it to be smooth and comfortable and fuel efficient, well Toyota is definitely moving in the right direction. At the moment, uh, the hybrid accounts for about 13% of total Highlander sales. At any given time, that could run up to maybe 20%. It really comes down to this. Hybrid is driven by you know, people's understanding of where gas prices are headed. And uh, the reality of it is that gas prices have stabilized over the last couple of years. But over the long haul, we think that the hybrid powertrain makes a whole lot of sense. It, uh, you know, particularly in the day-to-day -day, um, urban use that these vehicles will have, it gives you the best return on your, uh, on your dollar. Well, what you want with a three-row SUV is the ability to move people and stuff around with ease. And with this new Highlander, you can now take one more person, which is a big deal, up to eight passengers. That makes this vehicle an option instead of buying a minivan. A lot of people want to be seen in a good-looking truck like this than driving a minivan. Also, they've added more features, and on many trim levels, they've actually dropped the price. It's got V6 as standard equipment now, no four-cylinder, probably because most people didn't buy the four-cylinder anyway. Lots of nice features like a backup camera and on most trim levels, a power lift gate. So a big step up, a nice choice and a great looking Highlander. It'd be great for packing everybody in and going on a road trip to one of the most beautiful places on the planet, Carmel by the Sea. Want more? Extended reviews of many of our segments are available online at drivingtelevision.com. Well, let me put it in a different perspective for you. I've been with hybrids ever since they, actually, actually before they launched here in North America. And, um, you know, when people were introduced to the hybrid concept, they, they understood this notion of radical reductions in tailpipe emissions, huge improvements in fuel economy. But for a lot of people, the Prius, while a very good product, just wasn't big enough to meet the needs of their growing families. And the very first question that I've had um, out on the hybrid tour was, great, love it, but you know, when are you gonna bring me a minivan or a people mover or something that'll seat um, you know, more people and bring more goods with us? And really for that marketplace, there is simply not a better vehicle than the Highlander Hybrid. It uh, seats eight, it has fantastic fuel economy, has of course the lowest emissions of, of any vehicle in its class and allows you to, um, you know, to have an active lifestyle, but at the same time be very much aware of your, of your environmental footprint.